Abba's adversary, the devil. Opening cry, Psalms 37, 30 through 32. The mouth of the righteous speaks wisdom. His tongue talks of judgment. The law of his God is in his heart. None of his steps shall slide. The wicked watches the righteous and seeks to slay him. Let's see about this devil. Let's go to 1 John 3, 1 through 8. Behold, what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us, that we should be called sons of God. Therefore the world knows us not, because we knew him not. Beloved, now we are the sons of God, and it does not appear what we shall be, but we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. And every man that has this hope in him purifies himself, even as he is pure. Whoever commits sin transgresses also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. And you know that he was manifested to take away our sins, and in him is no sin. Whoever abides in him sins not. Whoever sins has not seen him, neither know him. Little children, let no man deceive you. He that does righteousness is righteous, even as he is righteous. He that commits sin is of the devil, and the devil sinned from the beginning. For this purpose the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. Let's go to John eight forty two through 47. Jesus said unto them, If God were your father, would you have loved me? For I proceeded forth and came from God. Neither came I of myself, but he sent me. Why do you not understand my speech? Even because you don't hear my word. You are of your father, the devil, and the lust of your father you will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaks a lie, he speaks of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. And because I tell you the truth, you believe me not. And if I say the truth, why do you not believe me? He that is of God hears God's words. You therefore hear them not, because you are not of God. Let's go to Revelations 12, 7 through 9. And there was a war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought with his angels, and prevailed not. Neither was there a place found any more in heaven, and that great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil, and Satan which deceived the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Your work is to bury the devil. He knows and fears, so Satan tries to destroy your existence before you can destroy his existence. Let's go to 1 Peter 5. 6 through 8. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he might exalt you in due time. Cast in all your care upon him, for he cares for you. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, is a roaring lion, walks about seeking whom he can devour. Let's go to James 2 17 through 19. Even so faith, if it has no works, is dead, being alone. Yeah, a man may say, you have faith, and I have works. Show me your faith without your works, and I will show you my faith by my works. You believe that there is one God? You do well. The devil believes, 
and trembles. Let's go to Hebrews 2, 12 through 14, saying, I will declare my name to my brethren. In the midst of the church, I will sing praises to you. And again, I will put my trust in him. And again, behold, I and the children which God have given me, for as much then as the children are partakers of the flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same, that through death he might destroy him that has the power over death, that is, the devil. The devil's only objective is to kill you. So every way you can die is an avenue for the devil. We must avoid him at every turn. Confront the false prophets, denounce the devil, turn from evil, and take up the Abba Israelite shield of faith. Let's go to Matthew 12, 25 through 28. And Jesus knew their thoughts and said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. And if Satan cast out Satan, is divided against himself, how shall then his kingdom stand? And if I by Beelzebub cast out devils by whom your children cast them out, therefore they shall be your judges. But if I cast out devils by the Spirit of God, then the kingdom of God has come to you. Abba Father is the ruler of all, including the devil his adversary. As sons of God, we have the power over Satan. This power over evil will increase as sons of God become together as one. Closing cry, James 4 and 7. Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Please go to the next video in this series. Everybody and you too. Plus you can get more information at israelitesadoption.org slash 0211 Abba's Adversary. Cow.